Well, the baby formula shortage is more dire by the day. Two kids in Tennessee have ended up in the hospital. They have a condition that prevents them from absorbing the nutrients they need. Their families were not able to get the special formula they require in stores, and those children had to be hospitalized for dehydration. This is not every child, not normal children, but literally the formula recall has led to these children requiring hospitalization. One of the major manufacturers, Abbott, recalled several brands of formula earlier this year after some babies got sick. Many shelves are bare now, and now the federal government is forced to step in. Alabama lawmakers telling us tonight none of this needed to happen. This is a crisis for us in health care. Tonight, the national baby formula shortage dangerously drags on. Millions of parents are affected, many of them left with no choice but to drive for hours for even just one can of formula. It's pretty scary because he can't eat real food yet. So it's like, if we don't have no milk, then we don't know what we're going to do. The shortage stemming from soaring demand, supply chain issues, and the closure of a key plant. In our Connect to Congress series, I asked Alabama Senior Senator Richard Shelby where the blame should fall. I think the Federal Drug Administration has got a lot of power uh, right now to um, step up production, to open up plants, make them safe, uh, and we should do whatever we sh can to make more of it available. A bill has been proposed on the Hill to increase supply, including $28 million in emergency funding for the FDA. Just throwing money at something is not going to do it. I think that the facilities are there, the power is there, that it's got to get moving. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville tells us this all could have been prevented. The FDA knew months ago that this was coming to fruition, that we had problems in making baby formula. I look forward to, you know, to getting a full accounting of the FDA's decision-making process and, and how they can plan to ensure that this doesn't happen again. The shuttered plant will soon restart production, but it'll take about two months before more product is available. Senator Tuberville also saying a shortage of baby formula shows the bureaucratic red tape that goes through what he calls Washington, D.C., the swamp.